Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. Of course, the last one, pretty weird. Pretty weird. We uh, we died a lot. We died a lot and a lot. Uh, but we ended up making it out of it with uh, a pretty interesting greed mode win that was, uh, yeah, a lot of fun. Um, I think this time I'm gonna go as... Let's do Mammon run. It's been a little while since I did Mammon. I'm not sure what we've got unlocked as him so far. I may have to take a pause during this episode that may be fairly prolonged. We will see. I have a delivery arriving within the next hour and 20 minutes or so. So it might arrive mid-episode. But it's a pretty awesome delivery. It is the new Four Souls card game expansion. And I'm very, 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 very excited for it. Um, I am really, really looking forward to playing it soon. Um, unfortunately, my girlfriend is out of town for the next, like, day. So I can't play it tonight. But I will be able to play it reasonably soon. Um, probably Friday. It's, like, Wednesday now. Um, so, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. And it has a new, like, solo slash co-op mode. Um, added to it, so we can actually play it, um, give you a penny. <sighs> um, we'll see if we can actually, uh, oh, really? Play the new solo slash duos mode and see how it goes, because normally, with it being four souls, you ideally have to play with four people, uh, but yeah, they've, they've made a new rule set which works better, um, with, uh, it works better with two people, so I'm really, really excited for that. Right, don't be a dick. <clears throat> oh boy, this character really, really sen sends me off the rocker sometimes. Like, he's a cool guy, but why can one of the payouts be something so temporary? <laughs> it's just so frustrating. Like, come on now, three times in a row? Are you kidding me? Kidding me? I've given you 20 cents so far. No, 15 cents so far. It's just, it's a little bit egregious, my boy. My good, my good time chat. Dude, that coin. God damn it. It was just nicely, leisurely spinning over the top of that fire there. But yeah, um, for my question of the day, what's your favorite, um, what's your favorite board game experience? I think that's another question I've probably asked before a while back, but have any of you played Four Souls? That'd be interesting to know as well, uh, either online or the real version, because it's pretty awesome. It's a really enjoyable game, in my opinion. It's not just like an Isaac collectible. I think it is genuinely very, very good. Um, uh, this room is very laggy. Um, this one was apparently going to get fixed, but it seemingly hasn't been yet, so unfortunate. The developer of this mod that adds these rooms is in my comment section, reasonably active in there at least, so hopefully this gets sorted soon. Right, if this piggy don't give me what I want, he's getting a bomb to the face. He, he has to give me at least a capsule, hopefully an item. You are a heinous character. I hate you. Get deaded. Two speed upgrades, that's really going to save my life. I it's just... This guy. This dude. He's a brute and a savage. A brute and a savage. I mean, the speed upgrades are nice. I can't deny I like having extra speed. But it is no supplement for n getting zero items on this floor, apart from potentially the boss item. Ooh, and I do have to fight the worst boss too. Okay. Oh, that attack. Oh, God. The horse shit that that attack is is unprecedented amounts of ass. God damn, get away from me, you blowing up little crap head. I just don't know what to do with this guy. Oh my lord. So much happening right now. I'd like that penny, but it's nestled in some fire. Oh my god. I just can't with this guy. I just can't. People always tell me, just do this and you can dodge him easily. No. Shut. Shut your pie hole, Denise. White Rose is pretty good. I'll take that. Um, and yeah, let's go to the next floor feeling reasonably depressed that we got literally nothing out of our active this floor. 
As soon as we get something that enables us to get a bit more money, this guy does get out of control. He's one of those characters that's like, he's got a bit of inertia to him. Like, he he starts off pretty, pretty humdrum, but he can really get the ball rolling pretty quick. It depends how lucky you are with penny drops like that, and it depends how, um, how lucky you are with the payouts from Meat Grinder. But, I don't know, he tends to... He tends to kind of be a bit of a shit for me and not give me anything most of the time. It's, it's a bit depressing. Bombs are good though because that allows us to destroy our piggies. It allows us to destroy them. This is potentially good later down the line. Um, the grinder is almost ready. My wisps protect me. Right. Just... <sighs> like, I actually do want to know what the chances are of you getting flies and spiders. It's got to be like 75%. It's got to be. It's got to be like redonkulously high. Because it's all I bloody get from this goober. Really? You're going to go somewhere where I can't hit you? And my wisp can hit you. Okay, I don't have a wisp anymore. This is... Don't like this. I goddamn got hit there because of you. My ladder. Right. Item room. Item room. You're going to give me some money that's going to achieve almost nothing. And I'm so excited for it to happen. Ow. Right. That's not even like, come on now. It's like five coins. <laughs> it should give you a bare minimum of 15. Like, come on. This is just savagery. This, 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 this little piggy went to market. And this little piggy got king screwed by the market. Because goddamn, there is nothing there for him. It is a lawless land full of despair. Despair, I tell you. God damn, I have two payouts to give to this pig. If he doesn't give me anything, I'm going to be mighty morphin. But mighty mad is what I actually meant. Dude! Why do you exist the way that you do, my lad? I just... Just thank you for a damage up, at least. But God, diggity darn it. Just demoralizing. <laughs> Would you like to play a character that has the chance of getting no items? Does that sound fun to you? Oh, well, I've got the character just for you right here. Oh, I need to not let the salt seep through too much. I need to not let the salt seep through too much. Because it is seeping. It's seeping and it's creeping. And it ain't a healthy look for me. But Mammon is... Uh, He's another beast. I mean, Pentagram is pretty lovely. Um, I'm going to definitely go Angel Deal here because I kind of have to. I'm going to give you five coins. <clears throat> good <-er. clears throat> Things are going really well. I mean, thank God we got a tier three up on a damage up off the bat here. Because otherwise, things would be a lot, lot worse. I didn't realize opening the sacks would start this room for some reason. I kind of did this more for the charges than anything. Ooh, hello. I like her. The token. I don't know what I'm going to use it on yet. But I like the idea of it. I guess like a dime if I find a dime. We all done here? Yeah, we are. Good. Right. Token. Gotta remember that's there. That could be very valuable. Oh god, this room's gonna get me. I'm hoping we get an angel deal this floor and it kind of clears up some of my woes. But again, we will see. I really like the, uh, 
the rebalance of Envy with the mod that we've got, that the rebalance furs and stuff. Literally just making making Envy, oh, I got hit there because of the goddamn mushroom. Making him like bear stop in random directions when he splits is just such a good change to him. How did none of these goddamn segments give me a single penny and the first one did? It's rude. It's just rude. I also lost my angel deal, which I'm reasonably miffed about. Don't you do it. I think that's better. Don't you go bananas. Right. Pop this piggy down. Oh, look. Hit some flies and spiders, people. Hit some flies and spiders. Oh, baby. Oh, my God. I'm down to half a heart, people. What's a man to do? What's a man to do? They can't keep getting away with this. <laughs> My G. My G. Pay out with something, please. Just give me some... Some iota, some small... Small bit of hope to latch onto, please, really. Skill issue indeed. I forgot that the purple guys fire at you. Okay, let's roll that back. Um, so far, this character has severely impacted my mental health. <laughs> I'm joking, but he is making me depressed that he just won't give me anything. This guy's just exhumed himself straight into the blood donation machine. I have a way of generating money. How sweet this could be. How perfect this could be for my... Like, do you know what's even more annoying? Like, not only does it have the fucking cheek, the cheek to give me flies and spiders. It gives me, like, two. Guppy's head gives me more. Like, come on now. <laughs> it gives you, like, nothing. Ugh. God damn it, these guys are gonna hit me. I'm scared. A key. This room's gonna get me hit, I think. I'm a scared again. Don't fire at me. What are you doing in the middle here? You're not contributing to anything. You're just eye candy, I guess. Okay, another few pennies. Let's see what they do for us. Mm. Like, cause am I doing this wrong? Is there something that I should be doing with this character that I'm clearly not doing? Like, is there some luck-based thing about, like, you get more money from- you get more payout from if you hold more money or- I, I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. I don't know what the shtick is with this guy. But I feel like I'm playing him wrong. And then as well, the meat grinder actually takes HP off you to use. It's like the cheek, the cheek of this man. You think you can give me just flies and spiders for my hard-earned cash? And then make me pay HP to use my active? It's just, it's so cheeky. This guy. This goddamn guy. Oh look, a machine that's gonna take my money. Thank you. Wow, that, that's such a bad boss item to get early on. Right, we can't bomb that guy. We don't have enough money to play him again. So I guess we're moving to the next floor. I guess we're just leaving all of that progress behind. I suppose there was one extra room I could have done on that last floor. Realistically, I'm only... 
and blaming myself. But we'll see this through. At least he starts with better stats. That's that's something at least. But it's not like better enough. If that's a word that you would agree with. And I just... The percentage of which enemies drop coins is so... So low. That was a very bad hit by me. I was itching my ear to be fair, so... We'll blame it on the ear. Like, all those flies. Not a single penny in sight. Just tragic. Maybe it's to do with the amount of health the enemy has to whether they drop a penny or not. So, like, swarms of flies don't give you as much. But I'm going to say I doubt that that's the case. Still, apparently there's still something I can do with these goddamn pigs here and I haven't figured it out yet. Whoa! He gave me a trinket that's almost useless. Huzzah! It's golden as well. It's golden, baby. Holy shit. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Never had so much goddamn luck. Now that I have bombs to use, I will use them with a ferocious amount of fury. Missed out on that coin there because I'm a goose. Of oh, so I didn't get the nickel from that guy. Shopman, what do you have for me? Steam sale? Does Steam sale really help us in any way, shape or form? Not really. It's just like cheaper shop items, yeah, but I'm not going to be spending my money at the shop, really, am I? Beautiful. Right, let's go spend some money on this guy and see if he gives me anything worth my time. Spending all my money on you. That's good. All my time on you. Dude. Actually, this isn't good because items don't spawn in item rooms, so... Waste of my time, actually. <gasps> An item! Oh my lord, I'm so glad I paid 25 cent for Baby Crater. Yes. This guy, truly... Truly the epitome of good luck. Right. Do we have a second secret room at all? Baby Crater doing his thing. Doing his thing, doing his thing. Get deaded, fool. Suppose I could get Baby Plum here, but I'm, I'm more interested in the stat increase. Not Baby Plum, you know what I meant, Plum Flute. Of course the stat increase I get is Mum's goddamn underwear. Right, we go to the next floor. So far, this run really has is a lot better than the last one. We have significantly less damage and fire rate. It's great. <laughs> but we do have Baby Crater, which cost us 25 cent. Yes, Baby Crater, I love him. So good. Okay, yeah, this guy's throwing spiders at me. Don't want to deal. Don't want to deal. Where's all my money, please, game? I, I gotta say, I was kind of like, oh, why haven't I played this guy in a while? It's been so long since I played as this dude, and I play him and I'm like, ah, I remember now. It's because he isn't that fun. Because <laughs> you don't get any items. <laughs> Oh, uh, I, I might reach out to the developers and see if there's any plans to do any... I, I don't want to, like, shit on the developers at all. Like, he is... He's, mechanically, he's pretty cool. I like the idea behind him. He's certainly different. It just... The payoff, like, it's so luck-dependent. And, like, to the point of where 
if you get unlucky, your run just sucks so hard. Um, and obviously, there is ways to influence your luck, like, certainly. But even, like, like just this mod in general like, has just some fantastic items. But this character and then uh, I think it's Icarus is the other character in this mod. Icarus also is a character that I just, I, I feel like is hard to enjoy playing. Like, mainly because it's got that mechanic where it, like, sends you back to the start room when you get hit. That can be so frustrating if you don't intend for it to happen. Uh, you've got to obviously play around it. It's certainly part of the strategy of the character, right? I kind of understand that. Oh, God, what have I done? Um, it's part of the strategy of the character, but, oof. I always forget about it, and it always feels bad. Bombs. So I'm making my way back here to the item room, but it's just like, why? <laughs> why am I even bothering? I'm getting like two pennies from it. More excited to see an item room with tainted cane. Like a wowie. There's definitely something going on that I've got to do with it, really. That I've got to do with the goddamn pigs, but I, I don't know what it is. Something to do with the meat grinder, I guess. Let me just place it right. That's horror Babylon. Fuck. Like, you don't seem involved with this guy at all. It's potentially good, I guess. It's better than the other option, I suppose. Now we got no health left. There's some damage. Now we got no health and got to go fight the boss. I'm going to use this card to try and keep myself alive. Right, let's go. So far, the mum's underwear and the uh, the the little ball machine that gave me a, t a small tears upgrade. Mm -mm -mm. Exactly how I like it. Lowers my speed, but it at least saves me for the room. Like, you see how much I would have died in this room? Hey, we got HP up. Right, down, down we go. I have no idea what HP I'm on now after using that. That 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 dude there just dived right into that rock. Okay. Need to use my active, but I don't have any charges for it. Whoa, that's a big brimstone, my good lad. That is one mighty thick brimstone beam that you have there. Take me for dinner first, at least. <laughs> Playing so bad. Whoa, it's a... That's crazy. I've never seen that happen before. I got a dime as this guy. Give me a hug. Come on, meat grinder. Charge up faster, please. Oh, god damn it, I keep forgetting to explode. Oh, this is not going well at all. This might be a very short episode, people. I apologize in advance. Oh my goodness, I am playing so trash. Th this character just brings out the worst in me brings out the worst in me. I keep thinking I get hurt, but it's my goddamn trinket. We got 26 coins to go out here. We gotta get something good out of 26 coins. Now, come on, my gu my guy. Trinket we don't need. Flies and spiders. Trinket we don't need. Flies and spiders. And trinket, uh, flies and spiders. Yeah. Great. Feeling jazzed. Absolutely jazzed about that, baby. Oh my god. Spikes are going to get you. If this guy could hold, like, more trinkets, he'd be kind of sick, because there's fucking trinkets everywhere. But I don't think he can. No. 
He can't. Okay, you stay out of this. I still don't know how much HP I have. I can't imagine it's a lot right now. No spinny coins in this room. Okay. And we've died. See, the question is, do I even want to continue? Because th this has been a true depression. Um, hmm, maybe I'll just find a really quick challenge to do. Maybe I'll do like the tech savvy challenge or something. Let's go to challenges. Um, is it tech point five? Oh, it's the hearst. Let's do the hearst. I can't remember what the hearst is, I'll be honest. Um... But it's good for tech point five. There's a very cold breeze right now. Okay, the hearst is pretty easy. Although, actually, if you get no item rooms, this isn't that easy. But we got spider babby for spiders on hit. We got the mulligan for extra spiders. Spider extra flies, sorry, when we uh, shoot. We will see about the rest. Neither of those are that great. I really should do this one second. I got a firm call here. Okay, my Isaac game has arrived, so I'm gonna go and play with that for a little bit and then continue this recording. Be right back. Okay, I am back. That was a while. I've been gone for like an hour, maybe, maybe two hours almost. Um, it was a lot of fun. I basically just spent that entire time looking at and unpacking everything and then repacking it all because basically with the version that i got uh i got the big box expansion which is like it just it's literally exactly what it sounds like it comes with a massive box uh, so it comes with all the new expansion cards and then a big box um so that you can put all your cards in including all the cards you already had from the vanilla like base game and the expansion that already came out so I was able to fit all my cards in and then all the new ones. And then it came with like dividers and stuff to organize things. I've now got a little tainted Isaac sitting at my computer. It came with a, a tainted Isaac figurine. It came with like heart tokens. It came with a bunch of new pennies. It came with some art. It came with some, like a poster thing. It came with loads and loads and loads of stuff. And um, so it took a while to unpack it all and organize it all. And also, uh, for collectors, it came packed very nicely. Uh, everything was evenly sort of distributed among its, like, so, like, all the trinkets were together, um, all the loot cards were together, all the characters were together, all the starting items were together, which, for a collector, is fantastic. For someone that actually wants to play the game, which is myself, um, also, we got a really, really good card for this room here. Um... Yeah, uh, unfortunately it meant that I had to unpack everything, like, shuffle them into the decks that they'd actually legitimately be in while playing the game, and then order them and separate them out into their segments. So it, it took a while, it took a while, but I'm really, really excited to play it. I might even, there's a, like, a new solitaire mode, so I might even try playing the solitaire mode, um, after, after this. Okay, this is an insanely good room for us here. We can get a lot of spiders, number one. But also, we can get a lot of money. Really gonna give me a sticky nickel? Is that how you wanna play this game? Okay. This is Gamble City here, but I'm really hoping for a payout from this machine. Come on, dude. Right, let's go back to the shop real quick. We got a lot of spiders here, at least. I just want to see if there's any HP in the shop. Because I've put myself in a rather risky position right now. There's a soul heart, at least. I'll grab that. I'll grab that. And I guess I'll take placebo. It's not great right now, but I guess I'll take it. Um, and I'm going to take a risk and do another two players on that machine. And then after that, if it doesn't pay out, it's getting bombed. It's going to pay out with IV bag anyways, isn't it? It's not going to be blood bag. This is a very stubborn machine. Wow, a very, very stubborn machine. 
That was unfortunate. But, a lot of money out of it. Just gotta hope I don't die on the next floor now, because I've put myself in a rather difficult position. But I'm hoping, with the sheer amount of spiders I have right now, it should be more than enough to do something. Ooh, this is a good trinket. Sadly, I cannot pick it up. Yeah, okay. We've already saved ourselves in this first room here. Kind of forgot I couldn't pick up trinkets there for a hot minute. But yeah, for a little bit here, we're not going to need to uh, really worry about attacking anything. I'm hoping I can find the boss reasonably quickly as to not waste all of my spiders. Um, I'm sure I'm going to waste uh, a large, large number of them getting to the boss. But I'd like to use at least a few to kill the boss pretty quickly. We've still got quite the army going. I'm definitely growing on these chests. Someone said they really liked them, so I kept them. And yeah, they're definitely growing on me. Here we go, here's the boss. We've unfortunately lost a significant amount of our friends, but we've kept a good amount. Smelter is pretty good here. Um, Smelter, I hardly know her. Uh, mainly just because I... Um, Lemon Pie is actually pretty good on a three-use, do you know? I'll, I'll keep that. Um, mainly just because with that, now I can actually get a different trinket and keep the tick. Also, small rock, hell yeah. Um, yeah, I can keep the tick and then get a different trinket, and the other trinket that was available was pretty heckin' good. I think we're in a pretty good position to do well here. Um, but yeah, really decent pill to get. Obviously, we'll keep trying new ones, but Lemon Party on a three-room charge. It's basically just like having the free lemonade item that is one less room to charge. See, that's why we wanted all the spiders here. They just annihilated one of the most annoying possible bosses. Uh, I will check this out. Um, no, I don't want any of those. All right, keep going. We're in a really good spot here, though. Really, really good spot. Right, good, good. But yeah, one of the other things that the Four Souls game came with is a bunch of blank cards. So I've just, I've, I've been talking to my girlfriend, uh, like, showing her all the new cards and stuff, because she really enjoys the game as well. Um, and I showed her the blank cards, and she was like, oh my god, you have to do a Turtle Melon card. And I'm like, I know, but I can't fucking draw. And it's like a complete blank card that you have to draw on, so it's going to be really rough. Um, she said that I need to do um, the Turtle Melon as a playable character, and then the, the Tortoise Lemon as an enemy. My, my arch rival. And I'm definitely down for that. It seems fun. Right. Crack that open, because why not? I quite like the new pennies as well. The new pennies are, are pretty nice. Okay, Lemon Party is available again here. We're only going to Mum's Foot this time, aren't we? So yeah, we don't, we don't got to worry too much here. Get him fly. Not much we can do there. I was hoping for a pill, to be honest, just to see what we got. I'm trying to think of what pills would be best. Power pill would be pretty good. Uh, Lemon Party is obviously great. Um, Tears Up is fantastic, but I think Tears Up will be a 12-room charge, or at least a, a substantial charge. I'm not exactly quite sure it could be 12-room, but it'll be a lot. Don't know what you're doing, Mr. Agro Boy. You're scurring me. That's what you're doing. You're scurring me. Yeah, let's do this. Not going to kill all of them, but it at least killed half the room. Yeah, using that on the boss is going to be very, very nice as well. Oh, hello. We got a big mushroom. Unfortunately, we don't have the bombs to facilitate destroying a big mushroom right now, which is a little upsetting. Um, I'd very much like to. We'll, we'll come back to you and see if we see if we get enough to make you work. We've already got small rocks. We don't really care about that tinted rock there. I'd rather save some bombs and get our big mushroom going. But yeah, we'll see. Ooh, slightly difficult room here. Only once you realise what's going on. Uh, if you don't realise what's going on. Once you realise what's going on, it's not that hard. Really could do to use my lemon party here, but I'm sure the boss is going to be right around the corner, so I'd rather not. Another pill there. Do I want to try and use this and, and risk uh, a long charge? Let, let's let's use this first, and then we'll see. Okay, yeah, good damage on this guy. Hopefully he doesn't stay underground for too long. This is good against Mother 2, so I think we should just stick with this. There's other pills out there that are good, but we're in a good place right now. And of course we get a bunch of other pills. Let's just take them, and then if we come across them again, we can, we can use them. 
So there's a tears up. Okay, so we can we can stick with this tears up here. Uh, unfortunately, once again, the devil deal. Not my style. Not my style. Right, so we got a tears up here. We'll have to see how many room charges it requires, because I have a feeling it's going to be 12. Um, I will take it, though. We need four bombs to fully destroy the mushroom. We're currently only on two. I will go back and check the shop for a bomb. I don't remember it having one, but I didn't look for one at the time, so I might be wrong. Good. Can you die, please, sir? There we go. Filigree feather. Potentially good. I'm just doing this for bombs. I did get a bomb. Really? My dumbass... My dumbass face. Okay, no, it's not. It's a six-room charge. That's perfectly reasonable. Uh, my dumbass, stupid, stupid me completely forgot that I had perfection on me. So I wasn't worried really about getting hit. I know I should be aiming to not get hit anyways. But I really wasn't thinking. But we can... Take Filigree Feather now, I guess. Although, I don't really think Filigree Feather is going to come into play. We've had two Devil Deals already. I suppose we could find the secret room that has angel statues in it, but it's not super likely. Right, big mushroom. Come on. Give me what I need. Yes. Yes. Okay, we should be able to blow it up. I'm pretty sure it's four bombs to fully destroy it. Uh, I think it'll give us a bunch of mushroom flesh as well, which I think works like wavy cap, if I remember correctly. They're like little wavy cap consumables, which obviously we don't have to take, but it's cool that they exist. It's a nice little bit of flair added to uh, this this whole thing. That's one. Yeah, so we get mushroom tissue. Wait, wait, actually, what does that do? Access a random horse pill effect. Okay. Don't you dare. Okay, thank God. I thought maybe the... Uh, the horse pill version of telepills was a guaranteed error room or something. I was like, oh, no, no. That would have been upsetting. So that one's wavy cap. Okay. I should blow this up first before I use any of these. Otherwise, I'm going to end up upsetting myself, aren't I? Hey, we get ourselves a one-up. Perfectly happy with that. Mega power pill. And then Mega Hematomesis. Right. We are Gucci to go. All, like, to be honest, where we are in this run, it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty decent. Uh, we'll take this instead of Filigree. I just don't think we're going to get any use out of Filigree. Um, you watch, I'll somehow get an Angel this floor now. Um, on a 16.9% chance, but it could happen. And I'll be super depressed. I suppose I've got more keys now if I need them, which I probably don't, but... Excuse me, sir. Anarchist cookbook. Little bit in the way there. But yeah, this is like one of the first times I've used placebo pill and it, be and it ended up actually paying off. Normally, whenever I pick it up, I either get another active item that's a lot better before I find a good pill, or just never find a good pill. And so far, we've had two good pills, so I'm pre pretty happy thus far. Pretty happy. It's a rarity that it works out this way, but I'm, I'm glad that it has. Okay, nice. And then we can use that and get another tiers up. So we are at tiers cap now. Um, I don't think that another usage of this will do anything for us. I'm pretty sure tier cap is unaffected by pills. Um... But I'll try it again, just in case. It would just be really, really, really strange if it randomly stopped exactly on five with that pill, pill usage. But we've at least hit five. And we could find more pills along the way here, which proved to be good stuff. Shops are pretty valuable for us here, one of our only resources. By the way, have, have any of y'all noticed just how ridiculous amounts of tinted rocks I'm getting when I either have no bombs or have no ability to use my bombs for them? I've, I've, I've walked past like four this run, but I just can't but bomb. And also, I already have small rocks. Like, there's two this floor already. But yeah, I will, I will attempt to use it again, but I'm almost certain it's going to do nothing for me.
Hello. Lots of keys required room. Wow, I'm getting hit a lot right now. Yeah, it did nothing. Okay, good to know. That is good though, because it puts us... Basically, it puts our fake stat up rather than our real stat. And the, the behind the scenes stat means that if I get a tears down, it won't do anything. Apple of Sodom? Apple of Sodom's kind of an interesting one. I don't mind it. I'd just rather have soul hearts in place before I do anything with Apple of Sodom, I'll be honest. Of course, it had to spawn enemies, didn't it? Right, do all the rooms we can to get some charges. That's another tinted rock. That's three this floor, none of which we can actually blow up. Game's been absolutely racist. Oh, there's one at least. Excuse me, don't re-roll that. Okay, thank you. Oh, I was just about to get real annoyed there. No re-rollies on my tinted rocks, please. I might get matchstick from the boss. You never know. You never know. It just made most of them disappear completely. Right. This guy's getting kind of wrecked. Easy. We get foul guts. I like foul guts. Right. I guess we're just going. No bombs for us. Toodle pip. Goodbye. We're almost done with this run now. Honestly, the Foul Gut, while dangerous, is super good offensively for us. Because, as you can see, each room we get like four uses of Guppy's head. There's another Tinted Rock there that we can't access. This is getting ridiculous. Just a little bit ridiculous. So many tinted rocks that I cannot touch. It's very, very upsetting. Oh, there you go. My spaghetti is no longer upset. Especially when you get the double soul heart drop. That's what it's all about. That's what I've been waiting for. But yeah, rooms at this point with foul gut are an absolute breeze. Not much worry at all. We're able to easily take out every enemy in the room. I'm just, at the minute, I'm just hoping we're going the right way. And I'll be honest, I have no idea if we are. Slightly more awkward room here. Good. Works out. Oh, more bombs. Okay, that's good. Is this blood here enemy blood? I think it is. Seems to be just a perma pool of creep. Okay, it has disappeared finally. <laughs> paralysis. Oh, yes. Why Why is paralysis a six charge on the placebo pill? Or does that mean that my current charge is six? But I feel like that's, it can't be that, because why would it tell me that? Seems pointless to even mention to me. I do not know what the game is doing. Right, last shop. Well, is it last shop? Yes, la no, second to last shop. And it's this bastard. I mean, that's a lot of money. So, oh, wait, ooh, that's pretty cool. The, um, if you get a proc from this trinket with a curse penny, it spawns a spicy uh, key. That's really cool. That's an interaction I would not have expected them to go to the effort of making sure it happened. It's not even something I would have thought of happening. Beautiful. Stem cells, rather nice. And we go. Sadly, only paralysis pills for us thus far. I don't think we're going to get to use anything on the boss here unless the shop provides. The shop's going to be ultra greed because... The game's a bastard. And that's exactly what it's going to do to us.
good old dank depths. They sure do be dank. Oh god, I did not know you were a brimstone one. But you gave me the soul hearts back, so I'll forgive you. Ah, kid. Nah. Battery there that we don't need right now. Oh, it's the anal beads. No! Speed up. That's pretty good. Another six room charge, but a few speed ups here and there will help out. I do not mind them. I do not mind them whatsoever. Crikey ho. Goddamn foul gut if you have a lot of hearts and you're like you're able to keep them safe. Oh boy, it's so unbelievably good. It's one of the better boss items in the game. Let's just go for this. I guess I'll just take the speed upgrade now because I'm not going to get a charge. It's Red Mum, so not a particularly difficult one. I'm just going to kind of let my flies get snooped by her. And this is a good way to end off this episode with a little challenge to unlock a decent item. Didn't get a lot of items going here, but we had a pretty fun run, I think. There you go. We did indeed get an angel deal. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you. Don't even know why I'm looking. There's no point. Anyways, let's finish this run off. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.